Hi, uh, welcome to another video, another tutorial. This one's how to change the colour of your existing monochrome LCD display or graphic display. So, what was that? You've probably seen from the other videos. I had a, a blue graphic LCD display on, on this uh, Easy Pick 7 board. Uh, I could only find, um, find the units in blue and I've got two blues and I want a different colour so if I just uh, going to be talking about stripping the display down and taking one layer of the polarizer off uh, and replacing it just putting another layer on uh, right so what I've done I've, this existing uh, uh, graphic display was like this one I'll zoom out so you can see it you can see it's just a graphic display you can see it's going to be blue, blue and white now what I've done, I've uh, taken it apart, peeled off one layer of the polarizer, the top layer, put it back together. Now because of the lighting it's not terribly clear, but you can see here, I've got, the, I've got a, a layer of polarizer over the top. Now if I rotate it, you can see it's set to yellow at the moment. Turn it around, you can see it's going sort of pinky. Uh, or sort of blue edge and then sort of purple in the middle and that's probably how the original display looked there uh, just blue, although it looks light, light blue on the camera but so you see just t changing the orientation of the polarizer you get different colours now that's a, a sort of uh, a sort of white with a uh, blue text is going to yellow, uh, a yellow background with blue text. That's because of the polarizer underneath. So depending on yeah your, the orientation. So look, if I was to cut it, cut a strip here, stick this under the frame, uh, that'd be yellow with white text. Hopefully you can see that. So just. Turn in the polarizer, get different colour. As I say, this is the top layer. As you can see, oh, Turkey in 141 days and counting. Right, so that's the graphic display. I'll just move the camera. Don't, not just graphic displays, LCD displays as well. This one here is a reflective LCD but which does also have backlighting on it um, but the reflective you need more power for the backlighting because the uh, what is it the polarizer on the back of the glass is reflective so you need a lot more light to shine through it so this is a standard one I've stripped off the frame in preparation if I uh, press that down hopefully you can see you might just see the time at this top corner. I'm not sure the uh, lighting's a bit poor. So you can see it's still working. See, you might see the text flicking through. I wonder if I can turn it up. You can just see the time on the corner. So I've taken off the clamp that uh, clamps the uh, glass down to the board. This is one of, as I say, stripped out earlier. So if I unplug the display, what you have to do Take the uh, frame off, you'll see some tabs, whether it's a graphic display or an LCD display, all these are two line alphanumeric, all the same. I've changed this one, this was yellow, it's actually got a bubble in the uh, polarizer, but this was yellow, as you can see it's now green, it works really well, but contrast isn't as good. But So this is a reflective unit, so there's the glass. You get these sort of rubber silicon contacts to connect the glass to the contacts down there. There's a little bubble on the end of the LCD which sits usually in a hole in the frame. So what I did here, simply use a sharp knife and get it under a magnifying glass depending on what your eyes are like. Get it under, a, you know, or under some light. You will see the top layer of uh, polarizer. Just simply peel this off. And you see, you can't see through this one because it's reflective, as I said. Um, these, like graphics and these other displays, 
butcher out of shop these other displays here they're not reflective so this is a piece of polarizer under normal light you can't see any difference but look, if I was to get a new sheet of polarizer this is a new sheet purchased from a big auction site a guy down in Birmingham Sutherland this is for a big 17 inch LCD screen 17 inch 21 inch get a big sheet of polarizer you can see I've been messing about cutting bits out um, sticky side down there's a sticky side and a non sticky side what you see if you turn this around let me zoom back in you can see hopefully see this starts turning blue so this has actually this polarizer isn't totally neutral it's got a blue tint to it depending on the orientation so you see blue purple going to red and then just green again so as I say you can change the uh, color of any display um, or you can change the LED backlighting get a slightly different effect give you some idea of this polarizer so your LCD monitor that you're looking at this video on has got two polarizers one in front of the screen and one behind it so this is off that small display you've just seen let me focus you in you see this is yeah this is off that screen so if I turn it vertically you will see it's got a blue tint but here's the sheet from Birmingham big auction sites I say hasn't got a tint at all and you see you turn it once you are uh, if you're yeah, 90 degrees um, to the one behind it starts blocking out the light but i have actually got two on there already which is why it's not working probably so this is the neutral one from Birmingham so you see you turn it 90 degrees start blocking out the light same with this one here which is off uh, another in fact I think this one is off the uh, graphic display so 90 degrees blocks out the light which is all essential for your LCD monitor system uh, blocking out the light from uh, so red, green and blue LEDs well actually not LEDs, uh, sorry the back light um, yeah so that's one type of polarizer and as I say this is just a neutral one so but that's what I'm using on the graphic display just a big piece of this cut the corner off and mess it out. So I put it back on the graphics. Just one last look. So that's it. Yeah, you can see, uh, yeah, no polarizer. You can't see anything on the screen. Obviously, there's a polarizer underneath the glass as well, but it's up to you if you want to start taking both off and messing about with the colors. But change the orientation of both, and you get different colors. Change the backlighting, maybe get a different colour text. So, hope you understand it. Yeah, if you're stuck with a, an LCD or graphic, don't like the colour, pull it apart and change the polarizer. That's a quite a bright yellow there, but in this light, you can't really see the text. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.